Welcome back to another Games Made in Game Maker Studio and this time I wanted to show you a classic which is Spelunky and if you're thinking like wait a second I have Spelunky doesn't look something like this it looks pretty sweet but this is the original Spelunky there's of course a newer HD version which was made in 2012 and this one is the old one but the great thing about this one, besides being completely free to play, so this is pretty sweet as a start, you can actually get the source code because this game was made in Game Maker, but not Studio, but Game Maker 8. And let's just go and dabble. So what you're seeing in front of you is just basically a roguelite, permadeath, um, 2D side scroller, where you just have this Indiana Jones inspired guy and you will get punished pretty fast in this game because it is super brutal and a lot of things you need to well, figure out by yourself because uh, the game doesn't really tell you this so this is one of the things of uh, an older area where a lot of games just basically didn't tell you anything you just played and well you had to find out yourself this is a cool thing but for example modern conveniences are not in here so if you are uh, well if you are used to modern standards well then you maybe get frustrated here because it doesn't have them so and for example another thing is oh this is let's say for example the well, pick one up this is for example their light system is it's uh burning no it's not burning Okay, spiders killing me. Yeah, as you can see, bam, I'm dead. And then you will see something a cake as well. Bam, instantly, no real transition between the rooms. It's just like snap, snap, snap. And for example here, this is a thing from the past as well. This is the tutorial level and it's not too bad. But for example, you can get stuck in here. Yes, you can get stuck in the tutorial level because let's say you're having uh, those ropes and you, you're just playing around. Oh, I can rope and maybe a second one and then at the bottom you need to use them <laughs> and then you're pretty much stuck in the tutorial great so <laughs> these are the things which you maybe should uh, avoid because a few things oh come on am i getting stuck here no i'm not um so there are great things about this game because you can start right away and play around, enjoy it actually, because if you like those procedural generated games with permadeath, which kind of challenge you, because this one will definitely challenge you. Oh, come on, already died again. And um, then this is definitely for you. First of all, because it's, well, it's free. And second of all, uh, because it gives you an insight into an already existing franchise and a lot of good practices which are in here are in here so you can i don't know run around you can a ledge grab you can um, have some usable items then later on for example in those levels you can get and buy stuff in the shop and what you are having here is just a resource which is just money so these gems and gold bars which are lying around you can just collect them and then later on you can find uh Equipment, which is just basically the bomb and more bombs and more of those ropes. So for example, a bomb is something like this. And you can destroy the... Whoa, whoa, come on, go away. You can destroy the whole environment, which is a pretty cool thing. Um, so this is pretty neat. And I guess you can run like a crazy... Uh, <laughs> whatever that guy is. So... Um, and then of course you can buy later on in the shop and find uh, passives. So this is pretty cool and because of its uh, randomly generated content, you can always play a new and the levels will be always different. So for example here, you can get the girl, rescue her, or what you're seeing on the right side, if I'm getting into it, ah, come on, okay, let's use the rope. Uh, how do I do it? As you can see, I'm pretty bad at this game and no, no, how can I buy stuff? Because uh, press B6. So what the hell is B6? I can shoot this guy. 
<laughs> I can kill him. This is good. And uh, normally, actually, the shopkeeper all the time killed me. So this is the first time I actually get revenge on this guy. Stupid shopkeeper. Um, yeah, so basically what you just go in here, you just collect stuff, and then maybe money. Then the shopkeeper is uh, selling you some stuff. And most of the time, this stuff is just passives they're just called accessories but eh and then maybe some other weapons because of what you saw i'm having a revolver oh i lost it already sweet ah jesus as you can see i'm not welcome in the next shop so this is one of the cool things and he instantly bounced me because i've robbed another shopkeeper oh, i basically just killed it this is the game, pretty much fun to play around. It has, of course, its quirks. For example, the instant transitions, not a good thing. The controls, in my opinion, I didn't like them at the start. And, well, the game is pretty much ruthless. So, if you do an error, you get, you will get uh, killed. For example, pressing down, it doesn't work in here. Or uh, here. You just have to, well, play around and... Jesus, as you can see, you can quickly get uh, stomped because maybe you're not getting used to the controls. Not a fan of that. Um, the traversing is fluent and you can do some stuff. For example, this is kind of funny. So, come on, come on. Angry Boulder. Definitely Indiana Jones inspired stuff and you can throw stuff. So, this is pretty sweet. The graphical style, as you can see, is quite... Oh, come on. Okay, now I need to use a bomb or something. Come on, throw it, throw it. Ugh! Jesus. Yeah, and as you can see, um, you definitely need to spend some time here. This is not convenient in any way. This is just basically the game. If you like it, play play around with it. I am definitely not the biggest fan of, of this one, but no offense. I'm just... I couldn't get into it, maybe I need to play a little bit more, but for now it was okay. And it's not about the graphics, the graphics I actually like, I like old pixel art style games, it's just um, the way it plays, it's not too intuitive in my opinion, but this is of course up to everybody. So let's kill this thing and what you can actually do, this is a great thing because you can just go and get the game here for free, so link in the description below. And, well, you can of course get its source code, but, and here comes the big but, uh, you will get the <laughs> GameMaker 8 source file, which is something like this. So this is a GMK, GMZ, no GMK, this is a GMK, but you need to convert it into a, a higher version and this, this doesn't work with the Game Maker Studio 1 and 2. Therefore, you can of course, link of course in the description below, get a newer version so somebody converted it for us. So this is pretty sweet because this is again a free, uh, well, source code which is pretty pretty sweet. And well, if you have an older version, then of course you can use this one. Here you will get a compatible version of a Game Maker, uh, I guess, GMX, I guess it's Game Maker Studio 1, not sure about that, or maybe 9. Then you just go under Import, then as you can see, bam, you can instantly get it, and then you will have uh, the whole game in front of you, press F5, and then it already does work, which is pretty sweet. And this is of course for you guys if you want to learn a little bit about games and how you can actually set up your game in Game Maker. Just be uh, aware that this is a very very old version converted into uh, or pressed into a newer system which is definitely much faster and has more uh, things going on. So for example here when we go into the tile set yeah, this is um, your whole tile set. So I guess the older uh, Game Maker Studio or the Game Maker versions didn't utilize uh, tile sets the way you can do it now because now they're pretty powerful and they can do a lot of great things. So just keep that in mind. So this is, for example, a level where you kind of gener um, create uh, your well your map. So this is like 
all the time uh, generated and for example here this is a custom level the collision and all the random generation is just based on instances which you can see here you know and all those blocks and then you can play around with that and you find all those objects in here i won't be doing at least uh, for now not a guide on that because well a lot of things are in my opinion old school and they are just being put into a newer game system and i'm not sure jesus this is a big 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 object wow there's a lot of things and this player object encoded but so if you want to just play around just keep in mind this is all you're not having any path and no shaders no timelines and all that stuff all the cool new convenient things you can have actually in a game they're pretty much kicked out here because this is a game from older times where those things first of all weren't there and second of all they weren't a standard back then so for example here today new standards are affluent transitions where you fade in and fade out then for example you have an interaction with an object a lot of times you have a floating thing above your head this game has none of that and a little thing for example once you um, have the playable version you can only config your game in here so this is just you put it in here and for example here as an external source you can just change the full screen and so on you don't actually have a menu in game you have to do it with a second um, configure executable which is uh, let's let's call it like this it's definitely not a modern standard um, but still game is free you can check it out you can use it of course you cannot resell it but you can use it for your own gains just check out the stuff maybe learn something from it why not great opportunity so thanks to the developer Derek Yu because this is pretty sweet so yeah oh if you want to check out the newer version which is of course paid the test um, additional graphics areas items characters and multiplayer that old version doesn't have that that was pretty much it for a uh, games made in game maker studio with spelunky which is a good old time classic check it out definitely worth your time that was pretty much it have a good one one up indie